Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video, I need your help because I'm not a builder. I'm not an architect. I'm not a kitchen planner. My skills are limited in this sort of area, especially kitchen planning or room design. I can do the work. I can get everything done. I can project manage. I can chip in but when it comes to actual thoughtful process of a very complex thing like a kitchen, I'm sort of out of my depth. But I have you guys. You guys can help me. And what I'm gonna to do today, I'm going to do a floor plan down to the exact measurement of what the kitchen is going to be by using my phone and using um, LiDAR. So I'm going to scan the entire room and then we're going to sit down, we're going to get an entire floor pan all sorted out and then I'm going to make it available to you guys. And if you want to help, if you have an experience designing a kitchen, um, I would appreciate your help very, very much. Um, one thing though, this isn't going to be a commercial kitchen. My plan for the convent is to renovate it into a multi-purpose luxury home. So that was my idea all along. However, it will lend itself to other possible commercial uses in the future. But I want this kitchen not to be commercial. I want it to be a more traditional, practical, beautiful space. Um, I don't mind if appliances are on show. It actually doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, I will probably use antique tables, antique chairs, antique light fittings, and there will also be modern appliances. And possibly, depending on the budget, if I can't help myself, modern but old looking kitchen units. Um, but that's the worst case scenario for me. Um, yeah, so let me get my phone out and let's scan the room. It's working quite well. This is incredibly difficult using a phone and a camera <laughs> to try and scan a room at the same time. So now it's scanning and look at that amazing 3D model with all the textures and it should be down to the exact centimeter or millimeter. That is really impressive that you can do something like this with an iPhone. That's going to be a really helpful tool in the future. What's really interesting about this application that I've actually used it once already before and I was using it in a cave network below the chateau of Chateau Le Gorse with Ed and I was using the LiDAR to try and map the caves but it was having a few issues. The phone and the app kept crashing. I think it was just too much data for it to handle. However, at one point in the caves, I was scanning 
and it literally scanned the shape of a person in 3D and it just appeared on my phone like the shape of a person standing I think probably three or four meters from where we were and then when I scanned again it just disappeared and it spooked me so much and I was explaining to Ed and he couldn't believe it either either there was something wrong with the phone or there was something down there which the LiDAR detected. Look at this absolutely amazing, realistic, lifelike model scan from just using my phone. It is unbelievable. So what I've just done, I've sent this LiDAR scan to a friend of mine who works in real estate um, in the UK. Some of you may know Dan. He's got a YouTube channel called Dantastic and he works in the industry as essentially an estate agent. So he does this all day long. He scans houses inside and out. This is absolutely unbelievable. So I've given him the scan and he is going to do a quick floor plan for me because it's what he does for a living. And um, I've asked him to um, do the floor plan, removing the walls that I intend to remove so that we get an idea of the space of how it's going to be once the demolition work is done. I mean, this is its like a computer game. It's absolutely amazing. It's just, just wow. It's really, really, really cool. Can't believe how well the phone perform doing this. So the application that I use on my phone is called Scaniverse and it is free to download and there are no in-app purchases. It works with the iPhone models that have a LiDAR sensor and it's amazing. I can't believe how well it's performed and I think this literally only took me about five or ten minutes to do and if you want to look at this 3D model it's free to look at and it's free to download um, I'll put a link in the description, but I'm just waiting for Dan to get back to me with the floor plan and I will also make that available with a link in the description. So go and look at it, go and download it if you want to join in on this big kitchen renovation because it will help me out so much and it will make my life easier and I will really, really appreciate it. What I'm going to do during the week is go into the kitchen with a measuring tape and I'm going to measure every wall every window reveal down to the last millimeter just to cross reference that with the lidar scans and the floor plan that dan's done which is all going to be in the description by the way if you want to go and check out the lidar scans or dan's floor plan i actually used two applications in the end for the lidar scanning and both worked absolutely amazingly um, so yeah i'm going to cross reference my measuring with what i've done today just to get the most perfect accurate floor plan there is. Convent is all locked up now. I've got my little computer bag and well I don't have a car. Um, I did message Gwendolyn to come and pick me up but she's a little bit busy so I'm gonna start walking just a little bit. It's just it's good to exercise a little bit now and then isn't it? Um, so yeah between the chateau and the convent it takes about eight or seven minutes to drive but probably a good hour of walking. But hopefully if she picks me up. <laughs> the reason I don't have a car at the moment is because the transit, the truck that I've got, it's got an overheating issue. But it's like only three years old. 
it's done very low mileage I think it's got 45,000 kilometers which is about 26,000 miles so it's not even running yet typical four day so when that's back I won't have to walk everywhere will I Here's Gwen. You've come to rescue me. Yeah, I have. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thankfully, I didn't have to walk all the way home. Gwendolyn rescued me from the roadside. Hopefully my truck gets fixed soon as well because it's getting a little bit tedious asking people to drive me every morning and pick me up in the evening. But I hope you enjoyed this video today, everyone, and I'll see you all tomorrow.